Hi, hello everyone, hello everyone in the room, and hello everyone at home. Wow, lots and lots and lots of things to unpack in this session here. That's a uh, whew, that's out there. Um, I think I'm going to I'm going to take inspiration from um, Enrico Fermi, who was a, an Italian physicist um, that's you know very well known for his work in the nuclear field, and. He, he had this very, I suppose, nuts and bolts way of approaching problems, where what he would do is that he would like create these like Fermi puzzles where he would look at the smallest part of the problem and extrapolate the data and then make justifiable estimations to then move it on to then try to give him at least a foot in the door in terms of solving the problem. So he would talk about like, um, if you could convert a teaspoon of water into pure energy and then he would then use that to try and work out how long it would take to boil the water he would um get his students to maybe like rip up a page into lots and lots and lots of little tiny pieces throw it on the ground and then as quickly as you can ever imagine he'd be able to count how many pieces of paper were there because he would look at a small part and make justifiable estimations as to where the paper was scattered and so i guess what i gathered from this was that if you looked at the right 1% of a problem, then that gives you a foot in the door in terms of being able to make a solution towards the problem. And so this poem I'd like to recite for you, it deals with that kind of thinking of starting with the micro and then moving it into the macro. And this poem is called A Drop in the Ocean. If we can look into one drop of water from one drop of rain, it can contain one drop of disorder that charts a planet's pain. If we look into a single grain of sand and see the quickening desert that expands, it resolves our future plans that extinguishes all the land. Ah, oh, forgotten it. <laughs> okay, I didn't want to read it. Okay, let's go to it. Let's, let's go to it. Here we go. All right, then, here we go. Right, so just pretend that mistake didn't happen. <laughs> or for those of you that have been amazed by my brilliance, just pretend that I put that mistake in there on purpose just to make you feel better about yourselves. <laughs> Here we go, the drop in the ocean. If we can take one drop of water from one drop of rain, we can see one drop of disorder that charts a planet's pain. If we look within a single grain of sand, we can see the quickening desert that expands as it brings its own future plans and extinguishes all the land. The greenhouse emissions form grim tales for predictions. The hills have their own eyes as they realize the futility of our position. There's a futility in our expense. There's a futility in our pollution. There's an instability in our conclusion that offers no improvement on solution. Can we have a single molecule of oxygen that's uncorrupted by the toxicants? Isn't that the building block of our children's stock, to be able to breathe air freely and not be coughing up? Can we chart a solitary snowflake, cast its carbon foot on Swan Lake, yet the warning of global warming is only quartered when the storms break? We only take heed when the typhoons hit and the hurricanes blitz and sea levels rise and fresh water runs dry. Amazon forests die and landfill sites pile sky high. Yet somewhere amidst all the lies, you can hear Mother Nature cry. Don't forget that this planet has its own biological clock. Nothing lasts forever, so don't demolish the lot. If life is indeed to be treasured, then let us treasure what we've got. For remember that all life started from just one precious drop. Thank you. Thank you.